What's up everyone, Cold Fusion here, and today we're going to be reacting to the gameplay preview for Elden Ring. This just dropped earlier today, um, I didn't know anything about it, but uh, apparently it's like 15 minutes or something like that in terms of gameplay. A bunch of other people have already covered it. I wanted to give my two cents on it, because I didn't react to the trailer for this game when it was announced around about B3 earlier this year, but I obviously am really excited for this. Uh, it comes out in February, and I definitely will play it, be playing it on the channel, certainly. So, uh, I mean, based off what I saw in the trailer, though, this looks excellent, so I'm really excited to see what it has on offer. I don't really know what to expect. I guess we'll just get into it and... Uh, See you then. Let's see what Elden Ring has to offer, shall we? What the hell happened to that? Day uh, the, 16. the captions are on. Hopefully that's not going to screw Hello, up everyone. too much. Thank you for taking the time to join us today. Turn off. In this video, we'll show some footage of our new action RPG, Elden Ring. We hope it helps to convey Peace. a little of this title's mood and gameplay. All right. Very dark Elden souls in terms of the animations. In the lands between. God, look at how good this looks. My word, this is pretty. This is a site of grace, acting as a place of rest for the player. Bonfires, yep. Occasionally, Grace will manifest rays of guiding light. Of course, we're free to choose whether to follow this guidance. Look how pretty it is. In a different direction. Oh, I love it. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm so excited for this, man. It's just fucking... It's just grim, dark breath of the wild. Whoa! Is this a boss? Will you just fight bosses like without having to go for the fog walls? All right, dude's got Medea's move set, kinda. Oh, like in the look of the spells. That was a really weak hit, though. And you can fight the boss as well on horse pack. Oh, well. Is it a horse? Close enough, I guess. Oh, yes. All of this looks excellent. If God of War Ragnarok drops next year, man, oh boy. Hello? Oh, my stars! I'm so happy to see you. I am Alexander, also known as the Iron Fist. And as you can see, I'm stuck here. Please. Can you help me out of this? What even are you? Put those doubts to rest. Kick him. Just fine. I'm very well trained. Give it your all. And even the trees are blowing in the wind. Whoa! <laughs> Calm down, man. <laughs> Look at his stubby legs. wallop of yours almost felt the end of me. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this! Look at this! I don't want to get, like, too excited or anything, but look at it! 
even just the aesthetic value here too. There's a map, of course. The map can prove useful when exploring the world, and is populated by acquiring map fragments. Okay. Ooh, pretty big. We can use markers to customize the map, such as setting reminders for the location of crafting materials or dangerous enemies. Beacons can also be placed to help with orientation. Beacons placed on the map appear in the world. Spirit springs can be used while on horseback to launch high into the air. This allows for stress-free traversal of areas with a great deal of verticality. I'm kind of curious how this the movement is going to work over craggy surfaces while on foot. Because the Souls games, pretty awful platforming-wise. Those games were not designed with platforming in mind. Oh, I want to play it. Oh, why am I going to wait till February? It's not that far away, though. Which is good. Unless it gets pushed back again. This just looks like... It looks like a mix of... I mean, it's obviously got Dark Souls in it. Carrying treasure. Um, An opportunity too good to pass up. But some of these enemy patrols and patterns kind of look very Sekiro-esque. Using materials found in the world. I like how clean all the menus look, too. Oh, man. Oh, this looks so good. Yeah, see the stealth? Back from Sekiro. But you actually have a bit more going on in terms of mechanics, it seems. Sleep arrows and executions. Yes, yeah, so you can you can jump just like. I stance can be broken by heavy strikes, such as when attacking from above. A variety of unique attacks can also be interchanged between weapons. <laughs> oh, we didn't get what, we didn't get to see what it was. In more perilous situations, we can summon spirits to assist us in battle. Summons, we had champ. Spirits vary greatly in type. Oh, twin blades! Oh, they brought twin blades back. Yes! Oh, oh, this game just keeps getting me more and more excited. It looks so, so diverse in terms of the visual style as well. Dude, this looks amazing. Granted, I'm. Uh, this video is in 4K. With players but, from, um... worlds, from cooperative to PvP and invasions. But obviously, YouTube compression is uh, gonna mean that it'll look actually better in game. Hey. I'm kind of mesmerized by this right now. It's just, ugh. Deadly creatures stalk this forest, so we'll use stealth to avoid detection. While wearing armor. Yeah, good idea. We've come across a boss guarding this area. Have all? <laughs> we'll take it on with the help of our co op partner. He does kind of have very similar moves to uh, 
Giobu from Sekiro there, currently. Yeah, he looks kind of like Havel. Oh, oh my goodness, that looks pretty. What is that? Oh my goodness. I hope it actually looks this good when it comes out. Like, just visually, I mean. Because this is pretty much... Dude, my expectations are fucking peaking. Ah... Uh... Do you take fall damage? I'm guessing you do. <clears throat> Probably not as much as the Dark Souls games. Just another bonfire then. Another rest point. Catacombs, caves, mines, catacombs can be found while out exploring the world. Kuma. Oh no. The bone zone again. Hold their own secrets, from hidden treasures to fierce bosses. Illusory walls, of course. <coughs> Are the mimics? Well, oh, that's uh, that's a fine, that's a normal chest. Yeah, the fact that the chain's there, and it's the Dark Souls design for a chest. I'm guessing mimics might return. Waifu. Greetings, traveller from beyond the fog. I am Melina. I offer you an accord. We've reached Stormvale Castle, a large-scale dungeon which connects seamlessly with the surrounding Limgrave region. I'm just in awe looking at all of this. You don't look suspicious whatsoever. It's a giant hole in the wall. How did he not know about that? Fair enough. You certainly don't have to trust me. Well, if you must go through the gates, I'll signal them to open. But of course, I'd advise against it. <laughs> you were warned. I'm get I wonder if this they're gonna be like the main route seems risky. Rewards you can so get for entering through a back way. Yeah, they're gonna be rewards you can get by actually 
going through the main gate and avoiding the ballistas. What is that? <laughs> Do these guys have the Dark Wraith moveset? Uh, they kinda look similar. I wonder what they're gonna do for Equip Load and Poise in this game as well. Extra care should be taken when moving through dungeons, as visibility and terrain differ from when in the open. We hope players enjoy getting a feel for the different types of areas and coming up with suitable strategies for each. But at least you can- Oh, Cheeky. <clears throat> at least you can jump normally in this game, though. Oh. That's creepy. Very creepy. I guess we might get boss footage. Uh, maybe. <clears throat> I don't want to spoil myself too much, because obviously I don't want to go into this com as blind as possible, but I have to watch this. If only for just for a, a little taste test. And I am fucking more than satisfied with what I've seen. Dungeons are complex and multi-layered, meaning they can be tackled from a number of routes. Oh, good. Variety, you know, variety um, and replay value. Ah, nice to meet you. The pleasure's mine. Roger is the name. A sorcerer, as uh, you might have guessed. I'm looking for a little something here in the castle. When I'm not hot footing it from the troops, that is. But enough about me. What are you doing here in Stormvale Castle? This place is bristling with tarnished hunters, you know. They sacrifice our kind. For grafting. Not exactly a place I'd stroll into without a purpose in mind. Oh my goodness. Oh, everything sounds so powerful, too. Look at this. Just. I don't know, man. The ability to jump free form. Oh, it feels. Already, I can tell it feels like it's going to be good. All right. Next boss fight, hold on. We challenge one of the demigods. Demigod. Godric the Golden. Godric the Golden. Cool name. I was just going to say the dragon boss from earlier it must have been a mini boss then. <clears throat> Is this the dude with the. Yeah, the arms. Oh, that's cool. As a lord. I command thee. I am <coughs> the lord of all that is golden. Music's going in. <laughs> oh, quick steps. This is just like the greatest hits of From Software.
doesn't look like a fast roll. Thank you for watching. This was just a brief introduction to Elden Ring's fundamentals, but more details will be revealed at a later date. There's not long to go now before release. In the meantime, we greatly appreciate your continued support. The Tarnished will soon return. Someone must extinguish thy flame. They will fight. They will die. For how else is a champion to be born? Ah, brilliant. Digital adventure guide. No. A bonus. I don't care about a gesture. Oh, that's a very pretty figurine. Neat. Oh, you got a helmet too. Oh my goodness, that looks amazing. Like I don't want to. I don't want to seem like too. Like I'm almost tarnishing a ten out of ten rating too easy. Like I'm passing them out too easily. But that looks like a 10 out of 10, just from what we've seen. I will confidently proclaim that. Fuck! That looks like it, as I said, it looks like a greatest hits of FromSoft. It has fucking everything. Holy balls. I am super satisfied with that. God, February is so far away. I don't know if I can handle that. But, yeah, if there's... <sighs> I mean, if we have God of War Ragnarok next year, and potentially some other games, 2022 could be fucking stacked, because 2021 has been really shit for video games this year. Barely anything of worth has come out, in my opinion. Although, I did just uh, pick up Guardians of the Galaxy, and I've been hearing good things about that game. Good things, so I'll be playing that soon enough. I'm not entirely... I, I don't think I'm gonna do a let's... Oh, I don't think I'm gonna do a playthrough on that on the channel. But I do think I might... Seeing how it goes, I might do a review on it, potentially. Because I definitely... uh, I definitely want to start getting into the swing of actually reviewing content and getting used to reviewing content. Because I'm gonna need all that... Uh, I'm gonna need all that editing preparation and knowledge before I go into my uh, critiques further down the line. Anyway, as it says on the screen, thank you for watching, and I guess we'll see how Elden Ring turns out when it releases. But this will be the last I uh, watch of Elden Ring until the game comes out. I don't want to be spoiled further than this. So, yeah. I'm going to be going dark on this game for quite a while. Anyway, enough rambling. See you next time. Peace.